What's going on guys? Welcome back to Goshen's Games and we got some updates for Alicization Rising Steel and this is all coming from a live stream that they did early this morning. So we're going to get to this. There's a lot of information that I'm going to try to get through as quickly as I possibly can because it's early in the morning and I kind of just want to go on with my day. So first and foremost we have this is the tower climb that I've mentioned before in a previous uh, video. Now, the tower climb, it looks like it's probably going to have... Well, initially, they said it would have like 100 floors, right? So you have a normal and a hard. Unless there's different floor clearings. Because this looks... this is Okay, no, I'm sorry. It is going to have 100 floors. It, you have what looks like 50 in normal and 50 in hard mode. And then each one has their missions that you can complete, which you can see where well, you can't see my mouse, but uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so you can see right here the 5 out of 15. I mean, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but and then on hard you have 0 out of 21. So it looks like each section will have 50 floors with missions to complete on each one, which is really cool. I actually like that system. All right, continuing on. Let me see. Did I skip any for the floors? No. Okay, so continuing on, they showed off some of the different characters that you could get from the Gasha. Now, something something to keep in mind, there will be free characters as well, um, which we'll be able to see once we get to the main menu. So let's go ahead and get there. So we, we have some screenshots or some still images of Kirito, Yujio, Alice, and Asuna, which the Asuna one looks free. I love the way that this one looks. I love it. It looks really good. All right, so right here, I'm not sure what this is. This might be story mode. Although it doesn't look like story mode. It looks like it's something else. It, it says map. So it's either a story mode or if it's if, like the campaign mode or it might be some sort of conquest mode because you can see that like right here, level 80. And so you're taking it down. It might be a either a raid mode or a conquest mode. It's kind of hard to check out because this is a point system and it looks like you go and you attack whichever area that you want on this map. So I'll be interesting to see or interested to see how this plays out once the game actually releases. I, I have a feeling this is like a raid mode, to be honest. Because you see right here, so you can click on it uh, on the different ones and there's different there's different enemies to choose from. And you can whittle down their HP. So it's that's actually a really interesting system. And I'm probably really excited for this as well as the tower climb. Um, so right here, this is more of that map. So you go and you challenge it. And it looks like you can get your friends to, to join your team to go ahead and fight it. So maybe it is some sort of raid mode. And these are the rewards. You get various rewards for completing it. This looks like a currency that you're getting. And maybe you trade that in. Because why else would it drop? six of those so interesting now we have also a um a weapon system okay there's a weapon system in the game you if you're not familiar with memory defrag the r4 is an indication that it's a weapon system because in memory defrag r4s for the weapons are the highest rarity on the weapons that you can get so from what I can gather, there's going to be a weapon banner or weapon system. I mean, there's, they're showing a ticket, right? This is a ticket to redeem on a weapon banner. Now, I'm hoping that you can farm for the tickets. And I'm hoping that it's not... Like, you don't have to use your, your diamonds for the for the uh, the banners. Because, to me, that's kind of a turnoff. I, I mean, you could always skip the banners, right? Like you do a memory defrag. So, there is a weapon and armor system in the game. Now let me go ahead and pull up the uh, the menu system. So we're gonna do that. Go ahead and minimize this right here. All right. So this is the menu system. Whoops. Let me. Can I get that? Nope. Wrong one. Come on now. Hold on, guys. Let me get this for you. All right. So right here. We're going to go ahead and play this. This is the menu system. And I'll go ahead and mute it. Now you can see in the menu system, they're on the top right there where it says event. That's where you can grind for the armors and the various weapons. Um, right there you see the scout. with It has tickets. So you see a scout banner 
for the uh, for the weapons. Let me go back for a little bit here. So you have the events with the weapons and armors. You also have limit breaking crystals, uh, which is all from memory defrag, right? And right here you see a scout banner. Let me pause that. So you see a scout banner. Now that's for Yuji or Kirito, and it looks like there's tickets and then 72 hours only or something like that. I'm not sure. And then right here you have the weapon scout. Now the weapon scout, like I said, I'm hoping that it's tickets only. Like you can farm the tickets or whatever. I, I, I'm not sure really until the game releases. We won't know. But I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in this in this live stream here. Now, here's an event where which is where I said you might be able to get free characters. Because it says event and then you get so this is uh ronnie so i'm hoping that you can get free four star characters i think that would be really cool so not all of them are locked behind gasha but we'll know more once the game drops because at this point a lot of it is just speculation looking at everything that's here so you have an event where you can get the uh the currency as well as the release whoops didn't mean to do that as well as the release items to enhance your characters um I don't speak Japanese, so I can't really translate all of them for you. And then right here we have the scout banners. Now they went, they did six pulls, and they got one four star. So just just little FYI for you guys there. Um, they do go and show all the characters that are available on this first banner. So you have Kirito, Yujiro, um, Asuna, Yuki, Leafa. There's a there's a lot of characters. What I find it interesting is that you have so each character has three different types of skills. You have your regular attack. I think this is your blocking skill, and then you have um, different abilities as the third as the third skill. So I said it in prior video that Yujiro here has a healing skill. So you have various characters, which I think is um, is going to be really interesting moving forward with the game as far as building proper teams because i think this game is going to be heavily based on team building which is uh I, I like that i like those type of games that's one of the reasons why i'm playing crossing void right now because it's heavily based on team building um so now they're going to go ahead and show off the the uh the summoning now like i said they get shafted six multis and they only get one four star so this is the summoning animation skill you go ahead and you touch the, the screen and it, it puts the ladder. So she'll go ahead and cast a spell and then... And then, not the ladder, it goes up the tower, I'm sorry. Now, depending on, I guess, what it shows here... Will determine if you're guaranteed to get a four-star, uh, you know, four-star character. I was going to say four-star skill. Four-star character. So right here, they're just going to get shafted. Now... The crystals, I'm not sure what the crystals are going to be doing in this game. Specifically because there's different types of crystals. It's not like Memory Defrag, where Memory Defrag has one type of crystal for the dupe characters that you get. Or duplicate characters that you get. In this one, there's different types. You got a green crystal, a red crystal, blue crystal. So, it's interesting to see how that's going to play out moving forward. So, let's go ahead and skip a little bit. Let's go to the next one. See, they get shafted, I think, three times before they get a four star. Uh, where is it? No, that's a three star. So a three, oh, two star, I'm sorry. I think this is the guaranteed one. Uh, let me scroll a little bit here. No, uh, never mind. it was this one. Okay, so you can see, like, it's already changed. So that means they're gonna get a four star here because everything's already different and there it goes it, it glows a uh, different color so I'll let this one play out because this is the four star one <clears throat> so I'm, I'm assuming that purple will mean four star because that's that's what it showed it showed the uh, I guess the city it was glowing differently and then when you get a four star you get a special animation for that four star So, this is the four star animations, guys. So, there, there it is, guys. Um, 
I hope you guys found this video somewhat informational. I do appreciate you watching today. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, all that stuff. And I'll catch you all later in the next video. Thank you so much. Peace out, guys.